Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I am here with a completely new show reaction. This is Miruko chan episode number one. Now the reason why I picked this anime uh, to react to this anime in, uh, within all the animes of fall 2021 is because I am kind of familiar with this, uh, the manga. I read the manga when it was coming out and since I got caught up with the manga I like you know obviously I stopped reading it and then I did not pick it back up so it this this is something like this I'll be familiar with the first few chapters I think uh, five not five uh, ten or twelve chapters I think I am familiar with and then I don't know anything so that's why and since I read the manga one thing I can tell is that at least the manga in itself is fantastic it's it's a horror comedy you know and if you've not read the manga i'm not telling you to go read the manga but go and see the artwork it's brilliant and like i'm i i had a blast reading this and it, it's, it's a horror comedy you're going to see what this is about and this is really one of the unique uh you know mangas that i've read and i really at that time i kind of thought that hopefully this gets an anime adaptation here we are we got it so i'm really excited to watch this and uh, as i said like you know the manga was great but i don't know how the anime adaptation will be uh passion is adapted uh, adapting the, this and i think uh, higurashi anime is uh like i think it's still ongoing or whatever i can't remember but I, I i've heard that it's done pretty well higurashi anime and like you know all the other passion works are done pretty well they're kind of faithful to the like you know source material and i i, I don't think they skip stuff so i don't Thing like the the whole like you know fear of whether they'll skip stuff or whether it will be a good adaptation or not i don't think that's probably something to be concerned about hopefully everything will go well and since this is like a slice of lifey horror type of an anime you know um obviously passion is mm, the best for that you know because with their art style and with their animation style so and it'll be kind of interesting to see like you know like how passion does horror stuff like higurashi is done pretty well I think so you know like miracle chan will also be done pretty good i hopefully it, it's good so let's see you know the manga is fantastic i remember it but let's see how the anime adaptation is so yeah this is the first episode of miracle chan so without further ado let's get started so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started with this video all right so here's the countdown three two one <clears throat> oh my god <sighs> and you know, know a few stuff so i won't spoil for the people who are watching this for the first time okay the atmosphere is pretty Okay. Is this a room? Oh no. <laughs> no lights. Oh boy. Oh no. Wait, is that a microwave? Yeah. Wow, automatic microwave. You won't have to press the button, I guess. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yo, girl, run. <laughs> Don't. Oh, my. Wait, I don't remember this at all. Like, I read the manga. Did I forget it so much? Okay. Wait, that was a story? It was a story. Oh, great. <laughs> God. 
I was like, I've, I don't remember this portion. So, okay. Look what I got, Meme-chan? <laughs> Here in the bathroom, okay. That's... Whoa, her hair! Oh my god, come <laughs> Okay, let's see the opening <laughs> This is a horror anime, guys <laughs> I love her hair, like I, when I read the manga, I didn't think that it was actually like this it has a little tint of uh, white and uh, like you know. Oh yeah, I remember this girl. Wow, this is a catchy song. Interesting, they're not showing any horror material in the opening. Like, they're probably going to completely <laughs> trick the, like, you know, viewer. Like... Yeah, they did not show anything regarding any horror element in the opening. <laughs> They're going to trick the people actually who don't know anything and who are probably watching the opening, you know? I'm really looking forward to how they make the atmosphere. You know, the, while reading the manga, the atmosphere was fantastically made. Oh boy. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, her name is Miko. I forgot. No, Mieruko. It was. Oh, Mieruko, so Miko, okay. <laughs> oh my god. Gross going, bad omen. Whoa! <laughs> he realized it. She realized it. It's just from <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Meme chan. <laughs> Nim chan. <laughs> Meme chan. Bunny. Lamorapui. That's a weird rabbit. Damn, the color scheme of the hairs are pretty interesting, I have to say. I really like it. The visuals are really nice, I really like it.
Like it's so bright and vibrant. The author's true intention. No, oh, she's pregnant. <laughs> oh boy. Whoa, the ambulance. Oh my god, the crows have increased. <laughs> Snack. <laughs> Bottomless pit. Three AM. Wow, that's a lot of <laughs> yeah. Clock had stopped. <laughs> wow, that's a. Oh boy. <laughs> she ate it. <laughs> There's evidence in your mouth. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, oh boy. <clears throat> it closed up. <laughs> oh, wow, this is done really well, I have to say. There is a... Oh, that atmosphere. <laughs> Don't run in the These type of scenes really freak me out like you know in front of a crosswalk like like seeing so many isekais like you know like any time truckun can come and just Oh it's gone My god, why? Like, why even? Like, you know, in, in this atmosphere, in this, like, you know, darkness, who, who would even try to go back and find? <laughs> okay, thank god the lights are working, I guess. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh my god.
Oh my god, great, it's raining as well. Oh, I remember this scene. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, throw that phone away. But it's expensive, so I, I don't think you should throw it away. Oh! Wait, did this happen? I can't remember. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> yep. Oh my god. Ah. Oh. Oh, Mieruko-chan, I forgot. Um, Mieruko is not her name. Mieru means, can you see me? That's why Mieruko-chan. Yeah, the bus is... <laughs> yep. Oh my god. <laughs> ah. Okay, well. <laughs> wow. Nice. Okay, that's that done pretty well. Dinner will be late. Okay, her name is Miko. And her friend calls her Meme. Meme chan. Oh my god. Ah. Why is a guy in suit in her bathroom? Like what? Doesn't make sense. Oh. Ah.
Nah. Sometimes it doesn't go that way. Oh! <laughs> Damn, the camera angles in this anime. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah i remember the manga also kind of did this yeah the manga also kind of did this the whole salt <laughs> no you need purified salt and normal salt won't work oh boy well gang <laughs> Exercising ghost items. Most of these are fakes, you know. Some of them may work, but nah, most of them are usually fake. Especially in Google, you know. Or Gangle, whatever. Oh! What the? <clears throat> oh no! Oh yeah. Oh! <laughs> Ma mama? <laughs> no. Okay. Yeah, you you need purified salt. <sighs> yeah. The baby is gone. The baby ghost. Or whatever that was. Hmm. Okay, it's not there. Ooh. No, there's no crows this time. Oh, so maybe everything's okay now? That's why no crows. <laughs> My god. Yeah, she's kind of at edge now today. <laughs> yeah, she's at, at edge today. <laughs> oh <laughs> third floor okay yep mm, yeah that's a titan ghost that's not a normal ghost that's a titan ghost what the hell? Nasty. Oh. Oh. This, this ghost has some manners. Okay. A bit different. Oh no. This is... Whoa, is that the ending? <laughs> wow. The ghosts are singing the ending. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow, okay, that, that was good, good start, obviously. Uh... Like, as I said, I've read the first few chapters, so 
there's a few things that I completely forgot that kind of also caught me by surprise in this episode. Especially the whole mama, <laughs> the mama ghost. That one kind of caught me by surprise. I did not remember that. And the, the second one as well, the, the tall ghost, that I also forgot about it. wow okay that's the end so first of all uh okay it's done quite well i have to say and from the first episode i can say that they are really properly adapting it not skipping uh stuff uh they're not cutting corners um they're properly adapting it because as far as i remember this 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 whole this episode is probably adapted from uh, chapter 1 and 2 I think I can't remember or maybe it's only chapter 1 so they're really taking that time and properly like you know doing it and I'm quite glad about that because this anime uh, you know like really th this manga really deserves a good uh, adaptation and I'm happy with it so one thing that kind of uh, I had a concern about is the atmosphere as I said uh, the like, horror animes need an atmosphere you know where you kind of read it you kind of feel a little bit airy you know like while reading it and you kind of get sucked in into the atmosphere of the uh, uh, manga or whichever thing that you're reading so <clears throat> the manga even though in a manga it's kind of difficult to actually bring out that atmosphere because obviously it's only visual stimuli you're getting whereas in anime it's visual and audio you know like audio stimuli as well you're getting both same with visual novels you're getting both visual and like you're hearing uh, audio so it's for visual novels animes movies horror anime can be like, you know done pretty well if done like you know in, in a proper way and it can bring that atmosphere whereas mangas which only shows us the visual thing it's a little bit difficult to do it but i remember reading the first few chapters of miracle chan uh in the manga i was pretty much like you know like kind of like sucked in into the whole atmosphere of that uh like, you know manga and it, it was really well done especially the art i i really like the art of miriko chan you know in the manga so that was one thing that was kind of in a way uh, a bit like you know concerning me whether they're going to do it correctly or not but since this is passion and they are already you know adapting higurashi you know which is obviously a horror like you know mystery psychological uh like you know show um i guess they got enough practice to actually like you know bring this like uh, like you know bring out the atmosphere and they're pretty accustomed to it i guess from that so yeah it, it was done really well and nice it was i i, I have to say i'm very much content with this the first episode um so obviously we see the girl the main girl of this show miko who can see ghosts and um <laughs> like you know like the whole like you know like like i really the, the opening song you know the opening song really did not show anything you know anything regarding ghosts so people i guess who you know only check out the openings like they're probably going to go and check out the opening and they'll be like oh what is this like a colorful show uh size of life show yay <laughs> you know and, uh, and th there's a girl and there's some friends so it will be so like you know happy something like that um it is a happy show like i'm not saying that it's not a happy show but you know like then when they start the show they'll be like oh okay so this is what's happening actually <laughs> which is quite like you know great in my opinion because they did not spoil anything in the opening uh, because I've, I've seen a lot of people actually check out the opening first without like, you know, seeing the anime and then after like you know seeing the opening they kind of go and check the anime so for them this is pretty good <clears throat> like you know they, they're going to get a surprise <laughs> when they start the show so <clears throat> okay so yeah for the show in itself i love the visuals it's really eye-catching and it's really bright and nice i love it and if you guys I, like you know the animation is pretty nice as well i think like you know usually for slice of life animes um this is a slice of life horror comedy anime so usually for slice of life animes you know animations are 
not need it that much you know because it's it's basically just like you know friends having fun and just hanging around like doing everyday things but the one thing that i saw here is like when it was raining and she was running the puddle that she's like you know you know kind of stomped the puddle the water animation you know it kind of like it was done really well and i have to say like the animation is pretty smooth and pretty nice i like it so <clears throat> yeah and obviously as i said the visuals i love the visuals i love the character designs as well you know like the characters they have kind of like a what can i say a really unique look you know um i don't know how to explain it for example the hair you know if you can see there's like a tint in the hair i think all the characters if you can see you can kind of see it for example miruko chan has like a white tint in her hair you know uh, the other girl i can't remember her name was it hana i forgot you know the orange haired girl she has like a yellow tint and obviously the other girl uh, uh, the other girl we saw here who's going to be the other main character you know the twin tails girl we can obviously see the like you know her hairstyle it's it's like a red and a yellowish type of a um, mixture um, I really like that, you know, and I, th I don't think I ever realized this in the manga when I read it, that the hairstyle is actually something like this. So, <clears throat> yeah, and like, this is just my personal preference. I love Mi uh, like, you know, Miko's character design. She, she has like a, what can I say? Mm, she, what can I say? She she has a mellow face, but within that face, there's like her eyes are very sharp, you know, like it, it, it's it's a really unique type of a character design. She her eyes are really sharp, but she has quite a mellow face. And not only um, Miko, um, I also saw this when we started. Her mother, that was her mom, wasn't it? Just a sec, let me go check. I I like the mom's character design even more than her oh my god just a sec <laughs> this is barely the start i'm simping for the mom great <laughs> like <laughs> when when mikos <laughs> says the see you later and goes away like damn her character design is is really really great i really like it you know like like as i said like this is like her eyes the eyes are sharp you know with a with with a, with a like you know the contrast with a mellow face and black hair like it's really great and you know the eyeliner as well like one of the best character designs i have to say <laughs> the, like yeah <laughs> as i said like it's barely the start and i'm just okay anyways um <clears throat> All right, the way this episode was done, you know, where we see like a lot of things are happening, but they're not actually showing us. For example, the hand print in the mirror. Uh, she, at, at first she's, she's like, oh, this must be my brother. Mm, no, that. And then she, you know, the, the dog, the dog screaming at the, uh, like, you know, barking at the um, garbage dump. And <clears throat> what else? Weird stuff were happening. Just a sec um oh yeah in in the school like you know the there's this like kind of shadow kind of thing running away and like don't <laughs> like don't go in an abandoned school at night like this you know like what the hell like are you crazy or something <laughs> but this is a horror show like you sh should expect decisions like this you know so i guess it's okay and uh, Oh, the crows. The crows were also kind of like a, you know, kind of like a, I think like a indication. And oh, there's, there's another thing that was shown when when she, Mir, uh, Miko was looking outside, uh, the ball, the kind of the baseball was kind of like you know, moving on its own. Like these things, like you know, they were kind of hinting us, like small little stuff one after the other. And just a sec.
and then we actually see what was happening you know like the whole ghosts like you know when she starts messaging her her, her picture it, it becomes weird there's like a weird face you know and then comes the ghost the ghost is like can you see me you know and can you see me can you see me and i'm sure like if miracle said something like oh what the hell is this or if she got surprised or if she said that yeah i can see you that would have been it you know i'm sure of it like you know like yeah like do not <laughs> do not let your ghost know that you know that you can see him or her you know do not let them know they're going to drag you in into into their world and they won't let you go after that so <laughs> good decision like <laughs> by miko do not do not um react even even though they're completely at your face like damn like i have to say like her poker face is pretty awesome like you know like she 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 maintained that poker face even when the ghost with its nasty like you know i don't know drool like filled face like weird stuff were like you know kind of flowing down her the mouth like was in front of her, her face almost at, at at like you know like like sticking to her and she she kept she maintained her poker face like damn like that's that's a that's a talent i have to say <clears throat> and not only that then then there's this weird i don't know who the hell that was uh the the suited go the ghost was wearing a suit you know in her bathroom i'm like why the hell is this ghost in her bathroom like what who is this even like I don't know like I, I feel like there's like uh... oh then then there's this the, the, I forgot about that ghost uh, the the baby ghost I think was calling her mama yeah that was kind of scary you know like <laughs> oh my god like, like imagine you're going to sleep and then you look in inside your blanket to see a ghost wow <laughs> great yeah as I said she she's very um uh, what can I say? Uh, uh, what can I say? She's she's very strong, like mentally strong. Like these type of things, if 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 it starts happening to me, I'll probably go mad. You know. So not only me, I'm sure most of the people will go mad. So yeah, good for her that she's so mentally strong. And then we see the other uh, ghost, the final ghost, I think, uh, who's this tall. You know, walking outside and she gets in and starts calling miko sensei now since she's calling miko sensei i'm guessing this is probably a ghost uh like you know who was unable to obviously like you know unable to pass on uh probably some kind of ghost who killed herself or something you know because you know we can see the school uniform she's calling uh you know miko sensei so i guess she when she was alive she was probably a student in the school you know and like you know the reason why she's kind of hovering around in this school now is because her soul has not gotten is not at peace you know she wasn't able to pass on so that's why she's like you know kind of roaming around and the only like you know reason why her soul has not passed on is probably because her death you know was probably something that was unwanted she did not want to die it's you know like she probably that's why like, you know either she was like you know she got into an accident or she probably i don't know like killed herself most probably something like that and that's why like you know like you know her soul wasn't able to get peace and she's just like roaming around in this school now like a ghost as a ghost damn and that was like the most what can i say weird like you know she, she comes in front of miko's face and says good morning like damn and yeah she and you know what the tough part of this is she can see everything and she cannot react like who knows what's going to happen to her if she actually reacts to it you know 
if 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 a small amount of emotion if like you know comes into her face i'm sure something's bad bad is going to happen and you know that's what she she that's why she's not reacting to anything at all it's just you know and what do you call it poker face completely and she's <clears throat> uh what can i say like you know she's just <laughs> i feel bad for her in a way like you cannot tell anyone and at the same time like you know you, you have to act as if nothing's happening and these ghosts are persistent like what the hell like not only like all the ghosts especially the first one the first one was like can you see me can you see me not only the first one the second one as well the salary man ghost as well he's like can you see me can you see me my god <laughs> boy okay another thing that i wanted to talk about is um which i'm sure everyone <laughs> noticed uh the camera angles in this show <laughs> i remember now i think the manga also kind of did this you know that's why they're doing this here as well like if 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 someone like you know, uh, like, you know if, if if you've seen this and if you think like oh this is like something like like just for the fan service the uh, anime studio is doing i don't think it actually is i think the manga also had this you know these type of camera angles <laughs> as far as i can remember i don't properly remember as you know as i said like it's been a while i actually read the manga but yeah i, I only read the first 10 chapters i think uh wait how just a sec. I'm checking how many chapters is Miruku chan at now. The manga I'm talking about. Uh, oh, 37. Not much. You know, I, I think I read up to chapter 10 or something. Yeah. So, something like that. You know? So, yeah. That was... It. that was this first chap uh, first episode of miriko chan it was a great start you know i'm really enjoying myself and i'll probably like you know like as i said like you know i've forgotten a lot of things some things will probably catch me off guard as well and some things i i i, I the thing that i remembered in this episode was the 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 the, the, the first ghost i remembered that you know like ghost coming in the bus bus stand and saying can you see me can you see me and um, obviously the uh, ghost at the bathroom was kind of implied from the beginning where we see the handprint you know and I forgot I completely forgot about the baby ghost inside the blanket and I also forgot about the tall ghost those two I completely forgot and this is going to happen I'll, I'll probably in, in these future episodes as well I probably remember one or two stuff and I'll, I'll probably have I would have probably have forgotten most of it so yeah like this is great and I think this adaptation is going to be pretty good i love it first chapter fantastic i'm really looking forward to the future episodes so that was it guys so that was my reaction to miruko chan episode number one so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know i'll definitely check them out so that's it guys so thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week with another episode of miruko chan so until then goodbye and have a nice day.